welcome today i will talk about my plant here this is the ardisha quinata this is commonly called as christmas berry others also call this as coral berry and australian holly and many more this plant is native to east and southeast asia and also in some parts of india ardisha quinata is an ornamental evergreen shrub The leaves are dark green, thick, glossy, and very attractive. It produces small clusters of white blossoms, then followed by greenish berries, which turns into shiny coral to scarlet red fruits that often remain on the plant the year round. The red berries of Ardisha quinata are the real attraction of this plant. It lasts long and comes in full bloom and fall colors during Christmas time and beyond. And you will enjoy the berries of this shrub until it starts flowering again. The coral berry looks very attractive with or without flowers and berries because of its beautiful glossy leaves and this coral ardisha can be propagated by seed and also by air layering and I propagate this plant by simply planting directly the ripe berry It may take two months or more to germinate because it needs first to break down the seed coating. And when it comes to soil, this coral ardisha like a deep rich soil with lots of organic matter but it can also thrive in almost any kind of soil that is not soggy. It grows best on moist but well-drained soil mix. And I'm using my favorite soil mix, my garden soil, compost, and rice hulls in equal parts. You may have any kind of soil mix as long as it has a good moisture retention. But not too much moisture. Don't make the soil too compact to have a good airflow and it will drain off the excess water easily. And during watering, water the plant moderately during the growing season and always keep the soil evenly moist but not saggy. The soil should be watered whenever it begins to feel dry. The plant should stay evenly moist, meaning the soil should never be completely dry or overly wet. And the swamp does not tolerate flooding. Moist to average is preferred, but coral ardisha is able to survive drought. Watering too much or too little can be a problem. When too little, the leaves start to turn brown at the tips. And when too much, you will get the root rot. Just keep your soil evenly moist at all times. And for sunlight, it grows best in bright area with indirect sunlight. It can tolerate some direct sun but not much. It grows best under a canopy of trees in shade. And it will not produce berries when exposed to excessive heat and high temperature and the excessive sunlight causes the leaves to burn. And the plant will love it if you give it a lot of organic feed like compost or with swarm castings or blend in a little coconut coir. 
You may also fertilize the plant every two weeks with a balanced liquid fertilizer diluted by half. But otherwise, it does well also without much attention because this plant grow wild in the forest and it's considered an invasive plant. And that's why it's easy to grow this plant. And this is a money tree, the age-old token of good luck and an invitation to good fortune. It is the most popular plant for feng shui because it is believed to create a positive energy. Thank you for watching my video friends. See you in my other videos.